secure. Yeah. So we're now attached to the cable. Ooh, and you can feel how warm it gets very yeah, quickly yeah, with the canopies. Yeah. 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 So the wings go level. We do level wings before we take off. So look to your left, you can see where the cable is, the yeah. yellow. So I'm going to wait until I see that move. That the cable will be live then. Yeah. And once it goes live, I know that once the, the slack is out, they'll give the next signal and we'll start to it's accelerate. Going, yeah. yeah. So I'll be keeping the wings level with the stick, and that's a side to side movement. Yeah. And keeping the rudder pointed in the there direction I want to go with a the rudder. There we go. Okay. So just stand by because we're going to start accelerating. So take note of this, whether you think Jude might worry about it. Remember, she'll be sat in the back. So that's us off, and the glider naturally rotates. And then I'm going to go to that as an angle of climb. Yeah, that's fine. Is that what Jude would do as well? Say again? Is this what Jude would do? Yeah, yeah. pretty much the same. Yeah. So it's quite still and gentle, so it means we're not getting kicked about. As we get to the top of the launch, so the nose will start to come down. That click was just the cable yeah. releasing. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So it's not too noisy, is it? No, this is ideal, this is. Yeah. This is lovely, this is. So we got a launch height of 1,200 feet. And I'm just turning under this cloud to see if there's any lift here. And if there is, we'll try and use it. But the, first, the next lesson, so we spoke about lookout earlier on. Yeah. And I know there is another glider somewhere in the sky about us. Anything here. Right, the, there's what's called negative lift, so we're not going up but we're not going down, and there is a little bit of something going on. The left wing was starting to go up, so this is how we turn the glider, we bank it, and you'll see now. So, on the left, coming into view now, that's Trowbridge yeah, on that. the nose there. Oh, yeah. Where that, um... There's the airfield down on the left. Westbury on the nose now. And let's see if I can show you the um, the locks. We're not at a very good angle here. Yeah, so you can see them better. But basically, they're dead in front of us there. So there is something trying to give us a bit of energy. Yeah, you can see the holes of Pusey as well. Yeah, so that's the hole of the Pusey Vale yeah. around there. Yeah, you feel the, uh... yeah it's very, very um, tenuous, yeah. any lift that there might be. So I'm keeping an eye on the height that we're at and our relative position to the airfield. Just trying to maintain a bit of a circle there so it's just extending the length of time it comes down we're not going up you can see the yeah. altimeter is coming yeah. down so what i'm going to do is turn onto the downwind leg and we'll go back but on the way down i'm going to show you a little exercise and you will have control okay, yeah, right. okay. Yeah. oh so there's i'm hanging on to it just for now because we were actually going up a touch. So let's let's go back and try it again. Okay. No water carried, undercarriage is locked. No loose articles in the back. My straps are tight. Are yours okay? No flaps on this aircraft. Banner down traffic. Romeo two zero downwind left hand. Right. So put your hand on the stick, Phil. Yeah. If I move the stick forward, the nose goes down, yeah, yeah. and we're going faster. And we can tell the nose is going down because of the relationship between the nose and the horizon. So there was more ground in view than now. Yeah. If I ease the stick back, the nose comes up, there's less ground in view, and we're now flying a little slower. Yeah. 
Eaves the stick forward, nose goes down, more ground in view, and we're going a little faster. That's speed control, so you have control of the stick. Just try and keep the wings level and just raise the nose a little bit to slow us down a touch. That's good. And just ease the stick forward, the nose will go down. That's it, more ground in view. And that is exactly how we control the speed of the glider. Okay? To turn the glider, I have control, but follow me through. If I move the stick to the left, the left wing goes down and it keeps going down until I centre it. Yeah. I've applied a small amount of back pressure to maintain the attitude. To level the wings, I move the stick to the right and the wings come level. When the wings are level, I centre the stick again. Say again. So just put your hand on the stick and just move it ever so slightly to the left and the left wing is going to go down. That's it. Bit of back pressure. If I have control, follow me through. You're going to hear a clunk in a moment. And that's just when I open those air brakes again. Yeah, so I've turned. We're pointing down the runway. You heard the clunk. So I'm maintaining the speed, controlling the rate of descent with the air brakes. Well, feel like we're floating. Well, that's pretty much what we are doing. Well, isn't it? Wow. And then I look up the airfield. level with the stick. There's a little disc brake on the end of the air brake lever, so if you look out over the wing you'll see the air brakes are fully out. Yeah. So I'm aiming at that penalty spot, and then when I get there, you hear the brakes are on, and that's us back and landed. Well, I'll be fine with that. She'll be up, she'll be yeah, as long as she's you know, not too apprehensive, that's the main thing. No. So I'm just going to open my canopy to let some fresh air in. So what did you think of that? Oh, it's great. Yeah? Yeah, yeah it's all right. Yeah, she'll be fine with that. Good. Yeah, get some good views. Is she in sight? Uh, I'm not sure where she's gone. Where is she? Romeo 32, left hand. Where is she? So we've got somebody else coming back to land. So, just while we're waiting for somebody to come over and get us, I'm going to go run through those same checks again. So I move the control column forward and back, side to side, put some rudder in. So at full right rudder, we've got a full range of movement. Full left rudder. Yeah. So when you feel them move, just relax your feet. So we have a full range of movement. Ballast we checked, we're inside placarded limits. Mm -hmm. Straps in the back are fitted and secure, yours okay? Yeah, they're fine, yeah. Instruments in the back, identified, reading normally, no sign of damage or broken glass. My panel is secure. Are your instruments, you know which is where? Yeah. They're reading normally, yeah. the nothing looks ones, broken. Say not, again? Not the um, middle ones, slightly. I can't quite zero. see what your middle one so is. The, oh, yes. It says over zero. Yeah. I thought it was like, is that an um, altimeter, did you say? It's the variometer, and mine is reading pretty much the same. The way it works, it's just equalising a bit of pressure, and the, the because of the time of day, it's, the atmospheric pressure may well be changing a little oh, as well. Right. So it, what it does, it measures pressure change, mm -hmm. uh, and how quickly the pressure is changing. But it, it's not uncommon for it to read a little bit out, so it's just saying to us that we're going up. Fine, that yeah. means it thinks that the pressure is um, decreasing a little bit. Yeah. Okay, there's no flaps fitted to this aircraft. Mm. T is for trim, that's that green button yeah. there. All the way forward, all the way back. Yeah. I always go right to the front again and then pull it about a third of the way back, and that's set for our approach speed of 55 knots. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, C is canopy, so yours is down and locked, mine is down, locked, and resisting upward pressure. B is for brakes. So yeah. get hold of that blue lever I showed you earlier yeah. on. Just yeah. put your hand on it. Just open it and pull your hand all the way back. 
look out over the right wing. Doesn't matter which wing actually, yeah. but look oh, at that. Open, we look at the other wing, yep, yeah, it looks the same. Yeah. So close it about halfway. Yeah. Just think what it looks like, yeah. The yeah, other side looks way. the same as well. And then close it, and you have to close it so it clunks. There. Yeah. So that's closed and locked. Yeah. Eventualities, as I briefed earlier on. If I can't keep the wings level on the ground, I'm going to release. Yeah. In the event of a launch failure, I'm going to lower the nose to a recovery attitude until I can see 55 knots indicated on the ASI. Yeah. Once I see 55 knots indicated, I'll then make a decision. If I can land straight ahead, I will. I'll just keep on going. If I'm too high or too far to that end of the airfield, I'm going to have to make a turn. I'm going to turn right, which is downwind, and make a small circuit and land somewhere back on the airfield. And the main thing I have to do is land somewhere on the tarmac. Yeah. The grass isn't a good idea. So you're happy? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Right, what I want you to do this time then, get your hand by the yellow lever. Yellow lever, yeah. By your left hand, yeah. Yeah. Brakes are closed and locked. Cable on, please. So pull the cable back. When he says close... Pull the cable back now. Yeah, so pull the yellow back. Close. close. E ease your hand forward. Let go. Yeah. And then he's just going to test it on securely. That's good. Right, so you can just put your hands in your lap or something now. So you know what it's like. Yeah. Okay, so this time, when we get to the top of the launch, we'll assume there's no lift to be had, and we'll just do the, the same exercise, but the, the banking bit so that we turn the glider. I'll control the rudder pedals for you. Thank you, that's the um, so I just need you to focus on the stick. So we, if we're going to go to the left, we move the stick to the left yeah. until we get to the desired angle of bank, then centre it. Keep a bit of back pressure. Yeah. So the acceleration's about to come. Ready? It's not that bad, is it? No, it's a bad It's no different from all the towers. Right, that's good. This is probably the noisiest part of the flight, and it, even then, it's not that noisy, yeah, it's is not it? That bad. Okay, so I, I pulled the release, even though the cable had come off automatically, yeah. and I'm just going to trim a little bit further back to give us 50, 50 knots. I can't quite see your airspeed, and there is a difference between the two usually. So, we're going to go to the left, we move the stick to the left, the left wing goes down, and it keeps going down until I centre the stick. I've applied a bit of back pressure to keep the attitude constant, and the glider is banked and therefore turning. To level the wings, I move the stick to the right. As the wings come level, I centre the stick and relax the back pressure. I'd like you to do that and we'll go around to the right. So I'm doing a good look out for us at the moment. You have control. I have control. And just to prove to you that you have. So move the stick to the right. You see the... So just relax on the rudder pedals. I'm doing them. Bit of back pressure. Just apply some back pressure. That's it. Bit more back pressure. Just make sure you've centred the stick. Okay, a little bit more back pressure because the speed is starting to build up still. We do a good look out. When you're ready, move the stick to the left. And that's going to make the wings come level. Just relax on the rudder pedals. And now we're going to do a turn to the left. That's it. That's enough angle of bank. Back pressure. Stop the nose going down. Level the wings now, so we do a look out. Stick to the right. Just relax on the rudder. That's me trying to press it there. No water carried, undercarriage is fixed, no loose objects in the back. My straps are tight, are yours tight? Uh, yeah, fine. Yeah, and there's no flaps fitted to this. Just a little bit of left stick to help us fly in a straight line. Banner down traffic, Romeo 2-0, left hand. 
Right, so let's do a little bit of a weavy path down here. So judge something about 45 degrees to the left. Yeah. And then do a turn and level your wings so you're pointing at that feature. So just pick something, it doesn't matter what it is. Alright. You seem to have a, a pretty good feel for it. Now let's do a little turn to the right. Not, not 45 degrees. That'll do. Level the wings there. And now do a left turn. Not too much back pressure. Just allow the nose to come down just a touch. That's good. Well done. Keep it going. Keep it going. A bit more round to the left. And level your wings there. That's it. Let's try and get them level now, Phil. That's good. Now lower the nose a little bit. We're aiming to do 55 knots. So you still got it, by the way. Right. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So follow me through. We're a little high for where we are. Over to you, is it? Yeah, I have control. You have control. So put your hand on the blue lever now. Got it, yeah. But when I say so, I'd like you to move it back about halfway. Yeah. Pull it back. So what we're doing now, can you see we're descending relative to the airfield? So I've got my hand there still, but if you keep your hand on just like that, that's about perfect. Now slide your arm all the way forward, but don't lock the brakes. I have the stick. Left hand forward. Yeah, so just like that. Yeah. That's it. Follow me through. So I've just opened the air brakes a little bit more. I've got the stick fully back, but I'm keeping the wings level. I'm keeping the air brakes open, but not applying that wheel brake yet. And I'm just steering ahead, aiming for that penalty spot. I'm steering it using the rudder pedals now. But you flew most of the circuit there, Phil. Did I? Yeah. That went really fast. <laughs> that was good, though. Right, how was that? Oh, that was good, that was, I enjoyed that. Probably more than the first time because it was sort of like, because you know what you're doing. And yeah, well that yeah. was why I thought, well, we'll, yeah. we'll cover a little bit here and then yeah. we'll cover a bit more. So we tacked quite a bit into those two, um, those two flights.